So I took off my snafu pedals to put on my Shimano XTR clips. Well, actually, I had my dad do it. Because I took a trip back to the Matsquan Reservoir for another challenge, but this time I'm going to attempt to ride my BMX bike around here. I've done it a thousand times before, but this will be my first time since I became paralyzed, and I know it's not going to be easy. Here we go. So I started the five mile journey with the mindset of conserving as much energy as possible because I know my body is going to fatigue and lock up along the way. Immediately I noticed that the trail was tough to ride a BMX bike on compared to the mountain bike that I rode last week. I came up with a strategy to only pedal if I had to on the flat straightaways and I coasted as much as possible to be able to pedal on the uphill sections. At about the halfway point I started to wonder if I bit off more than I could chew but I had to keep going. I just focused on each and every pedal I took and eventually I made it to the end of the trail and back to the parking lot. You know like when you wake up some days and you're just super motivated? That's how I felt today. I just randomly had this idea of trying to do this and I pulled it off. I did do it, but it wasn't easy at all. I mean, if you think about it, the longest I've been riding, you know, standing up on my bike is when I go around the track and that lasts for under a minute. So that just took me 35 minutes to do. So if you think about that, that's 35 times the longest I've ever been standing up pedaling for. It's so hard to do. I'm in some pain right now for sure. Mostly my back hurts, but also my fingers because you have a bike with no suspension. The tires are actually pretty solid on that bike. They're probably at like 70 PSI. A lot of rocks the whole way. So rocks and roots and bouncing around ruts. I was holding on for dear life. So I was squeezing my left hand, my good hand, as hard as I could to make sure that the handlebar was where I wanted it to be. So I do have a lot of pain in my fingers right now, especially my pinky. My pinky was working extra hard. But besides that though, like I don't feel like out of breath like crazy. I just feel kind of stiff. You could see the way I'm walking right now. It's a mess. Uh, kind of crazy the effect that just your muscles have on your body in my situation of being paralyzed like that. But I am psyched. That is a challenge that I am checking off right there. Something I never thought I was going to do again. So good day so far. Really good day. For today's video, we have a very special guest that's going to be joining us. Now this person I'm going to introduce to you guys is the nicest person I've ever met in my life. His name is Dustin Orham and his job is the BMX director at Woodward West. He has a heart of gold and all he does is try to help people. Now he's currently on a trip right now that he's traveling around the country. He's going to different skate parks, meeting people and trying his best to make a difference if possible. And he's one of my role models in life. The way he acts with people makes me want to be a better person. So I'm waiting for him to come to the garage real quick and I'm going to introduce him to you. So Dustin, are you excited to be in New Jersey? Dude, so stoked to be in New Jersey, hanging with everyone. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Well, the thing is, it's kind of raining out today and we wanna ride <laughs> some bikes. So we're gonna try to make the best of it. Um, we're gonna go to a couple different skate parks. BK says he's been watching the radar. We're gonna see if there's some yes. dry ones out there and hopefully we get some riding in. But the good news is the next couple days is gonna be nice and you're gonna be hanging around for a little while, right? Yeah, we're gonna be hanging, seeing what's going on and know that the Lord will ride and we'll be all get into some good conversations and hang with the hang with the people at the parks and, and see what he does to bring the snow because we're all in it together. So let's get to it, my friend. Yo, let's go. You did good, man. I'm impressed with your work. There, there's two little spots on the on the ramp, but we're fine. Good, man. Let's get to work straight away. It's a little chilly out today, so I'm going to get riding it straight away because my body's starting to lock up already. But you can see where I brought the BYOR. I'm going to gap off the top part into that. Get it. Such so as good as I'm gonna be able to do the gap right now. My body's like super cold already. It's getting so chilly just out of nowhere here in New Jersey, but I'm happy with that. That's good enough for today. Right after I was done doing it, we were checking out the setup, and then all of a sudden, some kid with a skateboard launched it across the park. It hit caught air and hit me in the back of the calf. Just my luck. We're here at the half pipe. We're gonna challenge BK to do some tech stuff real quick, and then I'm gonna get Dustin to do stuff on the box jumping court pipe. Dude. That was beautiful. BK jumped out of the park when he was playing that game of bike against Big Boy. For some reason today he wants to up the hand and wants to tail out of the skate park over that fence over there. We'll see if he goes for it or not. This is gonna be insane. Dude, are you kidding me, man? You just did it perfect. Like, seriously, Woo! perfect, man. Absolutely yeah, let's perfect. Go. Thank you. 
That's right, let's go. <laughs> that let's awesome. That's the way to leave the park. There, <laughs> I love you, baby. So please don't let me down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say hi, mom. Hi, mommy, cuckoo. <laughs> I love you, baby. So please don't let me down. <laughs> Where did you learn that song from? The Jan Gerald. So when I walked in the skate park, Teddy just kept on singing that song the whole time. Are you on when I put the camera like You're towards him, I am put on YouTube. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and we also got two dudes that are pretty psyched I up to ride this skate baby. park because BK loves this park. Please don't let me DJ. <laughs> I think he's just gonna follow us to sing the whole time. It's gonna be awesome. Give me a bongi, bongi, bong. <laughs> so Dustin's helping out one of the local riders here, trying to teach him how to do fakies real quick. There you go. Oh, that was close. And then use that pedal press so you'll feel the, the chain engage and use that pressure to be what helps pivot you around. Right here, right here, right now. back. <laughs> Steady, can you do any tricks on your skateboard? I can do a lobby. Yeah, let me see. Quick one, so you, yeah, so you. Oh, that was pretty cool. I love you, baby. baby. You so please let, let me down. down. I don't know where that song is, but it's gonna be stuck in my head for probably the rest of the week. Yeah, okay. Yo. Oh, that was so close. What is this backup? <laughs> Once you jump and it hits this part, it just looks like it's in quicksand. <laughs> it looks like it's in quicksand. <laughs> oh, it was so close. You were right there. Bye, thanks for All right. Bye, folks. See you, Teddy, man. It was, it was good hanging little, with you, man. my friend. Bye. Are you coming here tomorrow? I won't be here tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. All right, we'll have he fun. He comes here all the time. Yeah, I could. You got this fine. Oh! You did it! Yeah! No, oh, it feels so good. weird not having Teddy in the screen right now. I love you, baby! <laughs> Glad we got to come here. Dustin's hanging out with the local kids, teaching them a bunch of tricks, man. Dustin's the best person ever. Like, he's my favorite person in BMX. He's my favorite person outside of BMX, too. He's just got the nicest heart. He's just down to help people and have a good time. And it's so awesome. We got to go to three different skate parks today on Dustin Orem's wet skate park tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron Man's back. <laughs> Thought it was over, but he's Never. Back. Never. Dustin, what's your first reaction when you see a skate park? Yeah, stoked on it. This place is crazy. The DIY aspect of it, that's what's up. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. We got Cord Puppy Arm, should've been a main horse burglar here. What do you like about this park? I see a box jump. <laughs> you start celebrating when I brought you around the corner. Wow. All right, dude, first attempt on the box jump. Can we get a backflip over it? I think it's a, it's a good enough box jump. Just gonna do some measurements. About the same height. <laughs> about that much distance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was sick. How's the boxing feel? That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Sweet. I had to take a couple cranks at it. What do you want to do next? Because that was pretty awesome. Thank you. <laughs> that was Thank really good. You. Wow. You've been here for like three minutes. What's your reaction? Three minutes, this place is awesome. Got to talk with some of the, the local crew here and it is unreal, all the different shapes, but we found this, the <laughs> Mini Mega. This That's is cool. crazy. All right, let's do something Love it. it. All right. Oh, yeah. That was cool. He's out of here. Oh, that was sick. So you guys might remember the skate park. We've been here a couple times. It's amazing. It's a DIY setup, but it's also got some wooden ramps as well. The locals here are awesome. They did such amazing work. I would say this is the most unique skate park in New Jersey for sure, and the quality is awesome. We're gonna have some fun. Let's get some tricks. Yeah, dude. Nice, there you go. Oh, let's go. It's got everything for me. I got a nice box jump. The concrete's actually smooth to ride, I enjoy it, but most importantly, if I had my lunch with me, I should have saved my blueberry muffin, I could have ate it right here. <laughs> Probably about the same height. Yo, that was nice. Yeah. 
He is pumped to be here. He's got setups on setups. We got a half pipe here. We got a half pipe here. Corey wants to connect the two by doing a fast plant over the top. I know a lot of you would say, wow, it's only a two by four up there. That doesn't look like a lot of place to put your foot down. But when you factor in, Corey wears six and a half. Size eight. <laughs> Size eight. Oh no! No, it did not. You know you're getting old when you hurt your hip. <laughs> My hip. Is this technically part of the hip? Close enough. Is it? Yeah. Close enough. I guess I am getting old. I took a tie bike to the back, Scott. That's yeah. how dedicated I am. It's not so bad. <laughs> Doesn't matter how light it is. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> Ooh, so close. <laughs> Dustin loves his little bowl. He is flowing around this thing so good. I've never seen anybody ride it like that. Nice, dude. That was awesome. Whoa, that was so nice. Yo, that was beautiful. That was nice, dude. That was, that was so clean. My hip hurts, <laughs> but I got her. All right, we're wrapping up the session. Time to bring Corey back to the old people home. <laughs> <laughs> what a day here. We had so much fun hanging out with all the locals. Speaking of the locals, we ended up just getting dinner bought for us. Yeah. It's so nice of you guys. Seriously, thank you. thank you so much. Thank you. And we are gonna enjoy the heck out of this one. This is gonna be great. We've been going to so many different skate parks and meeting so many amazing people at these skate parks. It's awesome to see the kids and the parents so excited to meet us. And I'll tell you what, this is the first time today I actually came to a skate park and someone said they bought Can't Slow Down stuff. So that means a lot to me. But guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Peace.